Hello everybody. Today is the big day for all the Yellowstone fans out there. It's been a while since we heard that Taylor Sheridan, the creator of Yellowstone, is in preparation for two spin-off series. Sheridan's vision for the future of Yellowstone was clear. He wanted to expand the universe of the series as much as possible since he believes there are a lot more stories to tell regarding the rancher life in not only Montana, but in the entire West. Today, mark the day that the dreams of Sheridan came through as the first spin-off project, 1883, premiered on Paramount+. Plus. So far, the only things that we knew about this new series were that it was telling the story of the early Dutton's journey of moving to Montana and building the roots of the Yellowstone Ranch through many struggles. The trailer of the show suggested that there will be lots of blood, sweat, and tears surrounding the series, as we will be witnessing one of the most complicated and dangerous periods of U.S. history. We also got the chance to take a glimpse into the series through a flashback scene in Yellowstone Season 4. In the scene, we saw James Dutton, the patriarch of the Duttons at the time, wandering around his land with his two boys. Then, we came across an Indian-American tribe. The tension was high between the two groups, as neither parties were trusting each other. That being said, communication was inevitable since they were sharing the same land. In the end, it turned out that the tribal leader has lost his father recently and wanted to bury his body in these lands. James let the man honor his father, which suggested that the Duttons were at least on speaking terms with the Indian Americans at the time. From that point on, we waited for the series to premiere so that we get to confirm our predictions on the show. So without further ado, let's find out if we were right about 1883. The premiering episode of the series beings with the narration of a young woman, who is laying on the ground, seems to have gone through some troubling incidents. She describes what she has experienced with these words. This is hell, and there are demons everywhere. Then, we see the Indian Americans raiding the carriages of the whites while killing the people. The woman in question, whom we will later find out that is Elsa Dutton, the daughter of James Dutton, opens her eyes, stands up and the first scene she sees is an Indian American man killing a white woman, scalping her head. The devastating scene sets the tone for the rest of the episode since we witness dozens of killings in a single episode, as well as various human tragedies. When an Indian American rider approaches her, Elsa questions his intentions, asking him why are they doing this. The man's response explains the mentality of the period. You guys are the ones who started this. Then, she shoots at him while being shot with an arrow herself. The scene reveals that Elsa is a badass, a true ancestor of Beth Dutton, and we will witness a lot of adventures of hers in 1883. Her following words also confirm this. Since I'm also here, I'm a demon too. This initial scene is probably from the final episode of the season, suggesting to us what to expect from the rest of the show. Then, we go back to the beginning of the story and meet with Shay Brennan, an old man who seems like a businessman. He loses his entire family to smallpox and burns down his house as he has no other purpose in life. While he was attempting suicide, it backs down since the duty calls. What is this duty? Well, he makes a deal with the German immigrants to guide them through their journey towards the north. From the very first second, it's clear that Germans have no idea about what they are getting into and half of them will probably not survive the journey. Despite being hesitant at first, Shea agrees to take them to the north. While in preparation, he meets with James Dutton and witnesses his amazing shooting skills. Then, he offers James to join them, since they need more men to protect the group from any possible outside threats. James, whose family just arrived in Texas, left with no choice but to join Shea in the group, as he also requires protection. James Dutton and his family of six are coming from Tennessee. They are not poor, they are not hopeless, they are not failures in life. However, James has a dream. He has the dream of being more successful than ever in the North, and he believes in this dream smooch that he decides to migrate with his family during these dangerous times. The dangers show their dark faces immediately, as Elsa survives a rape attempt from the very first episode. No one is reliable, no one is safe, no one can count on luck to survive. Naturally, a rough journey is expecting Duttons. That being said, Elsa Dutton stands out from the rest of the family, as she is always hopeful regarding what to come in life, as she hates being limited and cannot wait to explore the world. Is this adventurous spirit a good thing in the Wild West though? Well, we have doubts. This first episode of 1883 was a perfect basis for the grand story of the early Duttons. We cannot wait for the further episodes to show us more of the 19th century U.S., and explore the socio-political atmosphere of the era.
What do you think of 1883? Did you enjoy the show? Do you think it has the potential to be even more epic than Yellowstone? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.